big fan of yours because of this whole idea that you have of patient-centric dispensing. I, I like to give an example of, you know, let's say you get a husband and wife walk into a practice. One's a plus five progressive wear, one's a minus five progressive wear, and they're both okay. They're your ideal patient, let's just say. They both want to spend the top dollar because they just want to have the best lens because they feel that having the best is the most expensive is going to be the best. Now, with lenses the way they are now, you've got the camber lens, which and it's got a variable base curve to it. So for right. the hyper genius, it works yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Especially yeah. you get high plus on plus, you know, high ads. Honestly, I've found that it works really well for your low power. Uh, presbyopes who have a relatively high ad and they hate their progressive because they don't need it for distance. Right, right. Works really well. Yeah. Um, and then that's the most expensive on our lineup. And then you've got the IoT's endless technology, which I find that for some reason, high myopes, and especially those with high astigmatic correction, they just that they just absolutely love that lens. It seems to that give them the absolute widest fields ever. And this was a recent update from IoT. I think they just launched in the US in January. So okay. I've tested it, retested it, and retested it, and retested it, and done both lenses on higher hyperopes, both lenses on myopes, just to get feedback over the months. Right. And what I find is that the even if the let's say the lady's a minus five, I wouldn't recommend her putting her in the top lens necessarily because the one that's one step down in price Actually, it might end up working better for her. Yeah, it's it might just, give her better performance. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, patients, uh, no, I, my lab doesn't exist without patients, obviously. So you know, right. there's a very right. big drive on our end to make sure that our practice is successful. And of course, the only way they become or remain successful is by having satisfied patients, as we all know. So that's why as a lab we've tried to in recent months in the last year in particular we've really tried to take more of a focus well less of a focus i'll say on the old school good better best pricing model which of course there's still lower mid higher prices we're not it's hard to get yeah. away from that yeah. and offer various tiers of quality but the old school assumption has always been that the best is the highest price the highest price is the best call any lab in the country and ask them what the best lens is for a high myope, a high hyperope, astigmatic patient, and they're pretty much always going to tell you, oh, it's this one. It's the most expensive. It's the best. No questions okay. asked. Okay. So okay. we're trying to turn that on its head a little bit because designs these days with freeform designs from IoT and other companies, uh, they're much more able to be fine-tuned to a patient need. Now, you've still got, you can still come up with your packages. You can still pick one as your top and just use it that way. But if you really want right. to get nuanced, and make sure that you know this lens is the best fit I can find for this patient and this patient over here, slightly different prescription, this lens is going to be the best lens for them. And it might be a different lens. This is what we can offer patients when patients go, well, aren't all lenses the same? You know, right. when I order them online or when I get them at the big box store, aren't they all the same? And yeah. when you're able to speak to a lens this way, it really helps to set it apart that no, they're not, or at least ours are not, you know? Yeah. Dr. Bob up the yeah. street, his might be, but ours are not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. being able to to speak to that where a lot of offices kind of feel um, stuck in their, um, you know, their certain limbs options because the lab that they're in, you know, maybe it's because of the vision plan or maybe it's just because of they've been in that lab forever or, mm -hmm. you know, um, all these different variables. Uh, when when an office can actually speak to the difference of what makes a, what makes a, and it's very unique is amazingly empowering for that office. And even what you've just said right here, love about this patient centric dispensing is the ability to um, put the patient's needs first and tell them, yeah. you know what, Mrs. Smith, I'm not going to give you the same lens as Mr. Smith because your guys' prescription is different. And that would be yeah. silly, you know, <laughs> like that. It's exactly. just, it, it, it's an ability for them to be able to open it up even more and for an independent lab like what you guys have with the education that, you know, just from your little, I don't know, two minute spiel that you just did right there was absolutely brilliant and, and very insightful for offices.